Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to talk about CA18DT intake manifold butterflies. This is highly debated part of the engine and people talk about every day about deleting them. Today I'm going to tell you why you should not delete the intake manifold butterflies unless you're doing this with your car. First, I just want to talk about how the intake manifold butterflies work on the car. So the intake manifold butterflies under atmospheric condition are already open. So you can see inside there, they're attached to this shaft, which has an actuator on the end. In here, I have 20 PSI of pressure, just to demonstrate when you apply pressure to the actuator, there's no movement. So next, I've got this vacuum brake bleeding gun hooked up and we're gonna apply some vacuum to it. So start to pump and you can actually see the butterflies move. So now they're completely shut under vacuum. And then when we release the vacuum off here, you can see they're open. So just recapping that experiment, under boost, the butterfly valves are already open at atmospheric conditions. The butterfly valves are open. It's only under vacuum that the butterfly valves are shut. So on my CA car, it comes with this vacuum canister and actually a series of solenoids down here that run to the vacuum ports on the intake manifold. So you can see one of the solenoid valves there and there's actually some wiring that controls it in the ECU. So what actually happens, what the ECU does is when you're in vacuum, that tank fills up with a store of vacuum pressure and those valves shut, keeping the vacuum in the tank and the butterfly valves shut. And then the ECU at a certain RPM, which I think from factory is 3,800 RPM, the ECU then at 3,800 RPM activates the solenoid, which releases the vacuum pressure and allows the butterflies to go from shut to open. And again, if in intake manifold already has atmospheric pressure or boost, at that point when it opens and the manifold pressure gets reintroduced into the system, it's gonna open. Unfortunately, I don't have my dyno graph here, but essentially what your tuner needs to do is do a run with the butterfly's valves shut the entire run, and it's gonna look something like that in terms of power. After 3,800, 4,000 RPM, the engine's actually gonna to lose torque and power. And then you wanna do a run with it completely open the whole time, and you're gonna have flat torque at the beginning, and then you're gonna have a better top end. So just like if you were tuning VTEC, you wanna do both runs, look at the point where they cross over, and you wanna set that as the crossover point on the ECU to activate that output that controls that solenoid. So maintaining the, vac the factory butterfly system is gonna help your torque below that 3,800, 4,000 RPM crossover point. So that's half of your RPM range that you're driving on the car. So all your drivability on the street is gonna be using those butterfly valves. So I highly suggest that you keep those butterfly valves if it's a street car or mildly tuned performance car. At what point should you actually remove the butterfly valves? The only time I would remove these butterfly valves is if your car is a full-time track monster and you're always above 4,000 RPM and your car is making more than 350, 400 horsepower. At that point, the actual rod and the butterflies become a restriction of the air going into your engine. So at that point, what you wanna do is remove the butterfly valves. If you are curious about that, what you need to do is actually push the shaft out the end here. You need to undo the screws on each of the butterflies to remove it out from the engine. Then you need to go in with your TIG and weld up where the rod goes so the air is not escaping out the side of intake manifold. If you have a street car and you've got your intake manifold off, I highly recommend you clean the butterfly valves and get any dirt off, off it that can affect the flow of air going into your engine. Also, if you're thinking you just want to re remove the canister and the valves from the system, 
highly suggest going away from that. I know it's really ugly, but that's part of the system that it needs to actually work properly. And like you saw, only when your car is making vacuum will the butterfly valves shut if you don't have the check valve and tank. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy CA content, please check out these other videos I've got listed here. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next CA video. Cheers.